Come on, everybody. Let's go. Get ready for a summertime adventure from another summertime story. This is the story of No Longer a Dilly Dally, written and told by award-winning author Carl Summer. Once there was a great city of ants, big and busy. One day, two families decided to leave the crowded city and move to the country. They were family work play and family dilly dally. Family dilly dally packed all their things. They were eager to find a new place where they would have lots of fun. Family work play also packed all their things. They were sad to be leaving their friends in the city, but happy to be starting a new home in the country. Both families waved goodbye to their friends, and off they went out into the big wide world. Papa Workplay immediately gathered his family together. It takes a lot of hard work to build a new home. Let's get started right away. Papa Dilly Dally immediately found a place to rest. We have plenty of time to build a new home. Let's rest first and have some fun. Family Workplay decided to look for a place where they could find lots of food. They searched long and hard until they found just the right place to build their home. This is an excellent place for us to find food," said Mama Workplay. Papa immediately began making plans for their new home. What did Papa Dilly Dally say, J Jocelyn? He said that they were going to find a new place where they'd have lots of fun. Yes, we want to have fun. Now, there's nothing wrong with fun. There's nothing wrong, but we're going to find out what now. What does Papa Workplay say he wants, Miguel? Let's go find a new spot to build a house on. Yes, let's go and find a place to build a new house. Papa Dilly Dally said, "Let's go and have some fun first. Papa Work Play says, "No, let's first find a place to build a home. Let's see what happens to these two families. It's very interesting what's going to happen to these two ant families." After a time of rest and play, Family Dilly Dally decided to look for a place where they could have plenty of fun. They searched for just the right place to build their house. They were excited when they found a large shade tree next to a beautiful lake. Although they had to walk far to get food, it was a perfect place for them to have lots of fun. Where did Family Dilly Dally decide to build their home, Emma? Where they could have lots of fun. Yes, where they can have lots of fun. They would have to walk far to get food, but that's okay. We want to have fun. That's the most important thing in life, and many children have that same idea. When their parents tell them to work, they always gripe. You want me to vacuum the house? You want me to help with the dishes? You want me to clean the bathroom? You want me to help to clean the car? They just gripe, 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 gripe. But family work play is looking for a place where there's lots of food. Very smart decision. And you know, I have five children. And you know what I did? I had them work. I had them work on my car. They did housework. They did lawn work. They repaired the roof. They had them do all kinds of work in the house. Why? Because one day, when they leave my house, they're going to have to get a job and work. So I was training them. And guess what? Three of them work for me. Been working with me for many, many years. And I'm very grateful that I taught them how to work, all right. And so your parents are going to teach you how to work. Don't go griping when they teach you. Be a willing worker. You'll be smart if you do that. Meanwhile, family work play went right to work. In their home, it was early to bed and early to rise. We are family work play. Papa would say, 
And that means we work first, then play. Every day we will have time to relax and play, but we must always do our work first. In the mornings they dug their basement, and in the afternoons they gathered food. In a few months it will get bitter cold, Papa warned. Let's work hard now so when winter comes, we'll have a nice home and plenty of food. In the evenings they relaxed and played. All through the hot summer months, family work play worked long and hard. By late summer, their house was almost finished, and their basement was nearly full. Still, every day they gathered more food to make sure they would have enough for the coming winter. Look at this here picture. How would you like to have, an, instead of two hands, four hands, so you can grab things? <laughs> you notice what they're doing here? He's holding the ladder with one arm and changing a light bulb and a screwdriver in the other one. Would that be convenient? Well, the ants, you know, this is just a storybook, so that's the artist they drew this here, and you see them doing all kinds of things. She's holding the picture and hammering a nail in, and that's what you could do with extra arms. Things were much different by the lake. Since family dilly-dally did not like hard work, they quickly built a tiny house. They wanted a nice big home, but they would build it later. For now, they just wanted to have fun, and lots of it. In the evenings, they stayed up late watching their favorite TV shows. Since they went to bed late, they slept late. Often they did not even bother going to bed. When they finally did wake up, it was already hot outside, much too hot to work. So they began their day by relaxing and playing under the big shade tree. They waited until the cool evenings to look for something to eat. And since food was so far away, it was not long before someone would say, it's getting dark, let's go home. That's a good idea, they all would agree. And so it went, day after day, week after week. Family Dilly Dally gathered only enough food for the next day. By the end of summer, Family Dilly Dally's small house was still unfinished, and they had no food stored for the winter. But they had lots of fun. What do we find Family Dilly Dally doing here? Okay, Isaiah? They don't want to work because they're lazy. They're lazy. They stay up late watching TV. Uh-oh. Do some of you kids grumble when your parents say, go to bed? I want to stay up late. Why do I have to go to bed? I hope you don't do that. Because you need your rest. You need your rest. And your parents know that. And sometimes, you're, well, all my friends stay up late. Oh, they don't know, but they, they, they exaggerate. Everybody else goes up, stays up late, but I have to go to bed early. And it's not true. They make up a story. And this is what happens. They stayed up late. And they watched television, and they even slept. And, and there's the, look, the sun's coming up, and they're still sleeping. The other family work play, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's a very old saying. Learn to work first and then play. And that was their name. And they just, we're going to have fun, fun, fun. We'll work later. We'll work later. And there's a big word it's called procrastination. To put something off for later when you should be doing it now. And a lot of children do that when they have homework. They wait till, oh no, I don't want to do it now. But if you're smart, do it right away. Get it done with, then play. You should play. Nothing wrong with play. But do your work first. Get your homework done right away, and then, then you're free, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Instead of having, oh, I got to do that, oh, I got to do that, oh, I got to do that, oh, 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 get it done, and then play. It's a much more enjoyable life living that way. Every day as family work play went to gather food, family dilly-dally would call out to them, come, play ball with us. We can't play now, the hardworking ants would say. We must work first, then we can play. Don't be so foolish, family dilly-dally would say. Be like us. We play first, then we work. Oh, no, in our family, we work first. 
You notice the children from family Dilly Dally? What did they say? Mercy? Come play ball with us. Yeah, come on, play ball with us. But what did the children's of family workplace say? Claire? We work before we play. Yes, we work first. Oh, no, no. We work first, then we play. Where did they learn that from? From their parents. They listening to their parents. And you hear me say that many times. How many problems children will avoid in life if they would just listen to their parents? And they're smart. They say, no, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to play, but first we're going to do our work. Then we're going to go out and play. Mama Workplay felt sad for family dilly-dally. We must warn our friends that unless they work first, things will be very hard for them when the cold winter comes. Mama Workplay went to family dilly-dally's home and knocked on the door. Come in, called Mama Dilly-dally from her couch. What brings you here? I've noticed that you're not preparing for the coming winter, Mama Workplay warned. It's going to get very cold, and then it will be hard to find food. Oh, don't worry about us, said Mama Dilly Dally sweetly. Our family just loves to play. There's still plenty of time to get food for the winter. Anyway, thanks for coming. Mama Workplay left the house very sad. She felt sorry for family dilly-dally because she knew they were going to suffer much during the coming cold winter. Let me ask, what did we find here about Mama Dilly-dally? All right. Let me see. No Noah? She's not listening to Mama Workplay's advice. Yeah, she's not listening. She's trying to help her. And just like with me, I'm trying to help you become successful. And those who are watching this video, I'm trying to help you become, have a life of success. But some people, they just don't listen. And many boys and girls are going to end up one day saying, Oh, how I wish I would have listened. So you be smart and learn to listen while you're young so you have a better and a more prosperous, successful future. When fall arrived, Family Workplace basement was completely filled with food. I'm proud of the way you work, Mama Workplay told her children. Now we have plenty of food for the winter. And we've finished building our home, said Papa Workplay. Let's have some fun. Hooray, shouted the children. They packed some games and a basket full of food. Then they headed for the lake. They had a wonderful time at the lake. Since we're well prepared for winter, said Papa Workplay, we'll have much more time to relax and play. Now Family Workplay had fun. One windy day, Papa Dilly Dally called his family together and sadly announced, Fall is here, and that means we must begin to get food for the winter. Oh no, they all complained. It's getting cold outside and the food is far away. We played first, Papa told them. Now we must work. They finally headed out to search for food but they moaned and groaned the whole time. Now Family Dilly Dally had lots of work. What do we find here now about Family Dilly Dally here? Juliet? That now they are searching for food in it and the kids are groaning and moaning, oh, it's too cold. Oh, it's too far. Yes, now they're suffering, aren't they? And now they're groaning, you know. They weren't trained, see? Because they weren't trained to work, now when they have to work, oh, 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 it's so hard, oh, I don't want to do that. And that's what happens when parents don't train their children to work. And so you parents listening to this, train your children to work. It's one of the best things you can do for them. 
And I've done it to my five children. I'm very grateful that I did it. And you too. Don't go griping when your parents make you clean the house or do the dishes or do other things around the home. And some of you fellas mowing the lawn. Maybe some of you young ladies will do that. But learn to work and don't gripe. Now they didn't want to trade to work. Now they're griping and complaining. Wintertime found family work play in their warm, cozy home. No longer did they have to go out into the cold to find something to eat. Their basement was full of food. Now family work play had lots of fun. Wintertime found family dilly-dally in the cold outdoors. Leaves covered the ground and it became very hard to find food. Still every day they had to go out and search for something to eat. Now they had no time to play. Soon it became bitter cold and family dilly-dally had to dig through ice and snow to find food. Every day it was the same, searching and digging, digging and searching. And still their tummies were never quite full. Although they grumbled and complained, it did them no good. Now it was all work and no play. I've got a great idea, said Papa Dilly Dally. I'll ask family work play for help. They have plenty of food. When he went into their house, he was surprised by how nice and warm it was. My, what a beautiful home you have. Thank you, they said. Could you please give us food for the winter? Papa Dilly Dally asked. It's much too cold outside to be searching for food. I'm sorry, said Papa Workplay, but we don't have enough food for both our families. Papa Dilly Dally left the house very sad. I feel sorry for them, said Mama Workplay. It's hard to find food in the cold winter. Shouldn't we try to feed them? I feel sorry for them too, said Papa. But if we feed them, they might never learn to work first. Besides, if they work very hard, they will find enough food, even if it gets icy cold. Now here we find Papa Dilly goes to the home and wow, what a beautiful home you have. But then he asks for something. What does Papa Dilly Dally ask? Olivia? Can I have some food? Yes, Papa Dilly Dally asks, can we please have some of your food? And Papa Workplace says, I'm sorry, but we don't have enough food for both families. And then Mama Dilly Dally, after Papa Dilly Dally left, she says, shouldn't we try to help them? And notice what Papa Workplace says. He says, there's still f food out there. It'd be hard to find, but we just give them food. They will never learn to work first. They're not going to starve to death, but they're going to have to work hard. They're going to learn a very important lesson. Mama Workplay tried to warn them. That they didn't, she didn't listen. Now they're suffering for their mistakes. And boys and girls, learn this lesson. Learn when you're young, not when you're old, because sometimes when you're old, it's too late even. You can't undo the past. And some boys, it's too hard school, it's too hard to go to school. And they don't study, they don't learn. Some even quit. And then they get older and they get married and they don't have any skills and they support their family. They have to work two jobs because they never got a good education. They took the lazy route. They quit. So don't you do that. You make something out of yourselves. In the middle of winter, it turned icy cold. The snow was deep and finding food was harder than ever. Still every day, from sunrise to sunset, family Dilly Dally had to trudge a long way through the deep snow to search for food. Day after day, week after week, family Dilly Dally shivered as they dug in the snow. They were always hungry and cold 
and thankful to find even the crumb. All the fun things that they had done were long forgotten. Now it was nothing but work, work, and more work. Little by little, the snow melted and the frosty fields turned green again. Spring had arrived, and not a moment too soon for family dilly-dally. It was not easy living through the cold, harsh winter. But they learned a lesson the hard way. Papa dilly-dally gathered his family together. He cleared his throat and slowly said, I have something very important to say. I am no longer a dilly-dally. The kids were shocked. What do you mean, Papa? Papa put on a new hat, a work hat, and then explained, I'm going to have a new name. We were foolish for playing first. Instead of working first, Mama agreed. I don't want to be a dilly-dally either. Neither do we, shouted the kids. Just then, some old friends came by. Hi there. It was family work play. How's everything going, Mr. Dilly-Dally? Papa pointed to his new work hat and said, I'm no longer a dilly-dally. Neither are we, shouted Mama and the kids. We're changing our name. Papa stood real tall. From now on, our new name will be Family Work First. Hooray, cheered Mama and the kids. What happened to Family Dilly Dally here? Claire? They changed their name from Family Dilly Dally to Family Work First. Yes. They changed their name. They learned their lesson. But they had to suffer that whole winter. If you're smart, you listen first. And I, wait, and why do I write these storybooks? To teach you as young children, as young boys and girls, the principles for success. And that's one of the most important principles. Learn to do your work and be willing to work, and to be willing to study, and to be willing to make something out of yourself, and not to wait till later on. Now, fortunately, they learned their lesson, and they were willing to change their ways. And now, let's see what happens to them. Family work first wasted no time, but immediately went to work. They began building a new home right next to family work play. In the mornings, they dug their basement and built their home. In the afternoons, they gathered food. And in the evenings, they relaxed and played. Best of all, from that day on, they lived up to their new name, Family Work First. And now, an award-winning song from Character Kids. <laughs> Side by side, we'll be ready 